My name is Doddy, I'm David Marsh, I'm a postdoc here at Perimeter Institute. So I've been skateboarding for about 14 years, so more than half my life. I've been doing physics professionally, I guess, for, for about five years. So I spend most of my time thinking about the growth of the universe, the growth of the structure in the universe, where it comes from and what it's made of. I'm particularly interested for the most part in dark matter. So dark matter is something that we know from many different avenues of observation makes up around 25% of the energy density of the universe. You wouldn't normally think that someone who does theoretical physics would also be a skateboarder, but you'd be surprised. So I was about I don't know, 16 and learning in school for the first time about simple harmonic motion and about resonance and about natural frequencies and that was when it fit was when skateboarding first helped me understand the physical concept the simplest example that is always taught in schools is is the motion of a pendulum so there's a well-known formula that tells you the period um, to the time for for a pendulum to make one oscillation is related to the length of the pendulum it's in fact it's related to the square root of the length so something with a smaller length scale has a higher frequency and so we already, learned, we already have a physical explanation for something that every skateboarder knows, which is that tight transitions are whippy. So I mostly use skateboarding as a way to escape doing science. You know, it's not a scientific activity. There aren't any rules, there aren't any rigid, rigid structures like there are in physics. And you can just go out and, and do it. So it's that actual way that they're so different that allows them to fit together. If I'm having a, bu if I'm having a busy day, I'm stressed out, I can't clear my head enough to actually do physics, because you actually need quite a clear head to do physics, then you get stuck, you get stuck in a rut. But I can go out, I can go out, go down to the skate park, skate for an hour, clear my head. One of the things that skateboarding really teaches people is, uh, is perseverance, because it's damn hard. You're failing more times than you're succeeding. So you come up with ideas and they fail. You come up with another idea and it fails. You write a piece of code and it doesn't work. You do a calculation and it's wrong. You've got to do it again and again and again. You, know, you learn to take falls like that, and each time you're you're learning that perseverance, and that's just a good thing to have in your life. That ability to get up and try again. I can't say I've ever found physics as hard as I found skateboarding. It takes a certain strength of will to stick with it. 